The Corgi is a famously royal pup that has plenty of energy, is highly intelligent and has so much love for their human companions. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the cost of getting and caring for your dog so that you can be prepared for a happy life with your Corgi. Welcome back to the Fenrir Corgi Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you can possibly want to know about the Corgi and then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Corgi. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Corgi, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Firstly, just to clarify, not of the products that may get a mention in this video have been sponsored. They're products that we at Fenrir have tried and tested and feel confident in being some of the best out there for you and your puppy. Getting a puppy involves a lot of different costs, ones that are up front and maybe a one-off, and others that are ongoing like vet bills and food. It's super important to be aware of this before jumping in and buying a dog as you may be prepared for the upfront cost but not the ongoing cost throughout your dog's life. So many dogs end up in rescue shelters because of their owners not being able to care for them due to the costs of maintaining them and giving them a happy, healthy life, which is why it's so important that you do a lot of research into the costs of things before getting your puppy. Right, let's dive in and find out what it is you need to keep in mind when buying your dog. So of course the initial spending will be pretty high with buying your puppy and getting your home puppy ready. This may involve having to put up a fence in your garden, which can be pretty costly but really important for your dog to have a place to run around without the risk of getting out of the garden. It needs to be safe and secure. The actual cost of a corgi can vary but you need to make sure you're getting your dog from a reputable breeder that also isn't ripping you off. We have lots of videos to help you find the best breeder so be sure to have a look through our channels. The average cost of a corgi puppy can vary on your location, but in the US, the average cost of a puppy is around $600 to $1,000, give or take. Now, alongside puppy proofing your home, these upfront costs can add up, especially with this breed being a purebred pedigree dog. In the UK, you'd be paying anything from £500 to over £900 for a well-bred pedigree puppy. Insurance is incredibly important when it comes to the costs, as if your dog ever needs to have any expensive treatments or surgeries, without the insurance, money will pile up. You will have to pay monthly for your insurance, which could be a basic cover, which would be about half the price of a lifetime policy, which is around $55. When the insurance company calculate a pet's premium, they'll factor in a variety of things, including where you live, the dog's age, and whether they've been neutered or spayed. So this price can really vary. However, I highly recommend investing in an insurance that's high quality and reliable. Your dog deserves the best care. Depending on the breed of dog that you have, the feeding can vary. The breed Reader may also have recommendations for you and so do not be afraid to ask. They'll be happy to answer questions about anything regarding your puppy as they are after all after the best for their pups. There are many different foods and diet types that you can give your puppy but what we recommend is a high quality and grain free food that is high in the required nutrients that your dog needs and keeps them happy and healthy. Again it's important to research into this before getting your dog and to understand how feeding a puppy is different different to feeding an adult dog. Your puppy will eat more regularly than an adult dog and most adult dogs will have two meals a day whereas a puppy tends to have a few spreads throughout the day. It's essential you read packaging carefully and give your puppy the recommended amounts for their size and age. On average food will cost them around $50 to $80 a month. On top of this you need to factor in your dog's initial vaccinations, their annual booster vaccines and the cost of neutering or spaying them when the time is right and also their yearly health checkup. This can all add up over the year to at least $1,000. Keeping and caring for your dog could be up to $150 a month, depending on the insurance you choose to go for and the food you buy. You also need to consider the cost of training. We highly recommend taking your dog to puppy classes or signing up for a specific training program. We suggest a puppy course that takes you from day one to having your puppy all the way to the end of the first year with a step-by-step -step training program which can help you become a calm, consistent canine leader with a perfect canine companion by your side to look at you for guidance. 
Dogs are intelligent animals and pick up and learn behaviours quickly. We want these behaviours to be positive and not any bad habits that develop further into major behavioural issues which become that bit more difficult to train when your dog is getting to be an adult dog. You can start with a small crate for your puppy or you can buy one that will fit them when they're an adult dog but you'll need to use dividers otherwise toilet training is not really possible as your pup may use one end of the crate to sleep and the other to do their business. This will also cost you so you need to factor this in. Also you need to get a pup a bed. For your puppy we recommend from experience that you get a bed which is comfortable comfortable for them but sturdy and well built because puppies chew. Due to teething mostly your puppy will want to chew and having a bed which is reliable and well built can reduce the chances of you having to keep buying them a new bed after they've chewed the last one to pieces. Be sure to get a bed that is size relevant to your dog. Some great companies are Scruffs and Tuffies for beds. Tuffies do a travel bed which is very good for large breeds as you can use it as a bed that grows with your dog due to the ability to extend it plus it's very helpful for traveling. When looking for a bed for your pup you should look for excellent quality and comfort which can be found at an affordable price. Toys and training aids are the next thing you'll need to get sorted for your puppy's arrival. Certain toys can be really great for teething, training, re redirecting them from chewing furniture and also providing mental stimulation as a whole. The Kong standard is a must for all dog owners as this is a sturdy and excellent quality toy that can be great training tools for combating separation anxiety and feeding your dog. The toys that are a bit more expensive will be higher quality and this means they'll last much longer than cheaper toys due to the materials they're made from. Plus you will need to get grooming products for your dog alongside leads and collars. I highly recommend going through this channel and watching previous videos to find out even more about your new puppy and the breed in general. The cost of having and maintaining your dog can really add up so be sure you are prepared for this. Well I hope you enjoyed today's video if so make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below and don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated corgi videos coming here every single week so I can't wait to touch you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Corgi Show.